extremely cheap a bottle of vodka See, the reason I hate on country music is uh, I'm a statistic in the economic downturn about six months ago I had to take a different job made about half making about half as much money as I used to and they play country music most days at work and uh, I'd go to work and I'd, I'd start farting. I don't want to get all scatological on you, but I was like, what is going on here? Is my diet changed? Is this part of getting old? I, I mean, I would just go to work and I'd like fart for eight hours a day. And finally, I figured out it, it, it's my asshole singing along to the country music. So I, I guess I have to admit there's a part of me deep down that likes country. Uh, Malcolm Gladwell proved to me scientifically that country music does not suck. Now, I doubt that I'll remember to put a link in the description so you might check Malcolm Gladwell or uh, what we can learn from spaghetti sauce. But what we learn is that when it comes to human taste there are no absolutes. There's no perfect song everyone will like everything is subjective so uh, it is ridiculous for me to say that country music sucks pretty much everything they play on modern radio that fucking sucks and especially modern country oh it's bad we listen to classic or modern pop it's all pretty uh, mediocre I think uh, Malcolm Gladwell and uh, Bill Hicks are both way smarter than me and they're both absolutely right you have the right to like what you like you can only be pleased by things that you like and being a human means two-thirds of the population aren't going to agree with you on the things that you really like on the other hand I don't believe you're gonna find something that's gonna please you to that degree on Disney. I'm mean, going to find it in the middle ground. That's 60% pleasure. If you want 75% pleasure, you're going to have to risk art, and art is going to be offensive to somebody. <laughs>